am 33 weeks and three days today. Lots of threes going on there, which means I have just about six weeks and some days left. So this week we have maternity pictures on Thursday. I'm so excited and I actually bought a like maternity dress. For this photo shoot, last week I talked about how I got some pictures done, some maternity pictures done, but they were not my actual like maternity pictures that I actually like bought the whole like birth package for and all that stuff. So I'm so excited to get those done tomorrow, actually, Thursday, tomorrow. So I cannot wait. I have no idea what to expect, but I bought like this big fancy dress. Not fancy, but like this like maternity dress looking thing that I think is going to be super cute. So definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook because as soon as I get those in, I'll be posting those all over there. You know that. Symptoms this week, nothing freaking fits me anymore. <laughs> like I finally, finally, finally caved and went to Ross and bought a crap ton of maternity shirts, which I was like, I don't know why I was like trying to avoid it. I had so many maternity clothes with all of my other pregnancies and since I was like for sure that I was done after Landon, I got rid of all of them. I've just been like really dreading having to buy like a whole new wardrobe, but I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take having absolutely nothing fit me. So I finally went to Ross and I got like a bunch of like really cheap maternity shirts to hopefully last me the rest of this pregnancy. Another symptom this week is that my hands have been, and my toes, my hands and my toes have been like really swelling. It was finally starting to cool down and it got like insanely hot again. So I think that those two might go hand in hand, but it's to the point where I cannot take my ring off. I always take my ring off to shower at least because I don't know, I don't want to get like shampoo and stuff in it. I don't know. Is that weird? And I can't take it off. Like I physically cannot take my ring off. It does not come off at all, no matter how hard I try. Like I would pull my finger off before I could pull my ring off. So that's kind of sucky. Hopefully I don't need to take that thing off for anything. And yeah, and my toes too. I've just been noticing that they're so like swollen feeling. They just feel like little pudgy sausages. <laughs> Another thing this week is that my headaches have come back. I've had headaches here and there throughout this whole pregnancy and it seemed like they were starting to get better. And this last week, every single day I get the headaches and it's just like, oh my God. I'm just one of those people, like I never get headaches. And this pregnancy, I've had so many headaches, it's ridiculous. So obviously since I'm getting like insanely massive, day-to-day -day activities I talked about are getting a, like a lot harder to do. Well, I've specifically noticed this week that in bed, I do not sleep in one position all night long. I like move around the whole night long. I just always have, I'm not sure why, but I will flip flop throughout the night, like laying on my left side, laying on my right side, laying on my left side, laying on my right side. And now to go from like one side to the other side, it's like a huge task. It's not just like, oh, flip around, turn around, let's get comfy. It's like huge, like 10 minute ordeal of me like trying to get up this way, like turning this way and like laying back this way. Like it's so ridiculously hard. <laughs> I've also been feeling kind of nauseous this week, which is very strange. I was terribly sick through the whole like first and then the halfway through the second trimester. But since then it's kind of gone away. And these last few days I've just been feeling like not myself, but that could just be that I'm, that I have like a regular cold too. So I'm not sure if that's, that's really pregnancy related, but it's just something that I've been noticing. So symptom wise, that's really all I can think of. That's all I wrote down on my list. And if it's not on my list, it doesn't make it into the video. <laughs> There's one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about and kind of get your guys' opinions on because Lilia came to me recently and asked if she could be there when the baby was born. So obviously she's six. It's like, what does she mean by that? Does she just want to see the baby? Was she like, does, what, is, what does that mean? So I kind of talked to her more about it and she expressed a desire to actually attend the birth, like as the baby's being born. And I have always sort of been like, not against it, but I was always like, oh, I, could, I would never do that. I could never have like my kids attend a birth. Like I feel like it would be traumatizing. But after talking to her about it, she has seen part bits and parts of my labor and delivery videos with her and the other kids as well. Obviously it's in like her montages and stuff like that. It's never affected her. She doesn't seem grossed out by it. She doesn't seem phased by it at all. So I kind of talked to her a little bit and I explained to her how I would be in pain and I, I like explained the process a little bit to her and she really is acting like she actually wants to go and attend the birth and be there for when the baby is born. I have no idea how I feel about this. I told her I would think about it and that I would kind of like, 
I don't know, visit the idea again before the baby is here. I talked to my mom about it and she is, my mom is obviously gonna be there for the birth and she was like, let's just have her try it and if it gets too much, like she'll be there obviously with Lilia to like talk her through it or her, remove her from the situation and then if it gets too much, we could always call her dad and have her pick her up. So I'm kind of leaning towards trying it out, seeing how she does with it. She has expressed a desire to be there and all children are so insanely different. She has always just had a very like mature um, vibe. I don't know how else to explain it. She just handles situations very well and she's, I feel like she just acts older than she is. So I don't know, like, I don't know. Is that like, I wanna know like how many of you guys have had any of your children be present, any of your other children be present for the birth of another child. And like, if anybody has any tips, if I do decide to go that route. So that's just an idea I've kind of been thinking about. Um, obviously I have not made a decision yet, but I don't know, I wanna know what you guys think about that. The other thing this week that I have been thinking about is doing a belly cast. So. With all of my other pregnancies, I have never done a belly cast. And the main reason I haven't done it is because I feel like, like what are you gonna do with it afterwards? Like what do you do with it after the baby is born? Like is it just gonna sit in the garage? I don't know. So I want some ideas on like what you could possibly do with it afterwards. But I think it'd be fun, like my last pregnancy, last baby, it's just something fun and the kids would probably enjoy it if they got to help me like put it on. So I don't know. Again, let me know your guys' ideas. <laughs> and that is actually pretty much it for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 33 week belly. All right, so here is with the shirt on. And I feel like I'm running out of room for this baby to grow. Like, I just feel absolutely like to my max <laughs> with the shirt up. My regular tape measure, I for some reason cannot find it anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one. I know it gives like a slightly different measurement, but that way we at least sort of know where we're at. So according to this tape measure, 42 and a half. So that is it for this week's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I'll have those links down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will answer them either in the comments or in my next video. And other than that, I will talk to you guys Friday for our next video. Bye. Looking at this stuff makes me want a little girl. We just have both. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I could never do twins again. Like, literally, I can never do twins again. Thank God it's not twins.